welcomes you all to the premiere of the dancer's worship based on the play Notir Puja by Gurudev Rabindranath Tagore. The dance direction for this ballet and the choreography is by Guru Srimati Sharmila Mukherjee. Script and music direction by Sri Srijan Chatterjee. Rhythm composition by Guru Dhaneshwar Sai. And brought to you by Guru Srimati Sharmila Mukherjee and the artists of Sanjali. Guru Sharmila Mukherjee is a senior disciple of the Odissi maestro Padma Vibhushan, Guru Kero Charan Mahapatra. She is an A-grade artist of the Doordarshan and is a recipient of the prestigious Mahari Award. She is also the founder and artistic director of Sanjali Center for Odissi Dance, Bangalore. The Sanjali Center, founded in the year 2004, aims to provide a complete education in the Odissi dance form, technique, skills, and sadhana, all in the Guru Kero Charan Mahapatra style of Odissi dancing. The, Sanj the Sanjali Ensemble, under her guidance and leadership, performs all over the world today, sharing this beautiful dance form. Over the years, in addition to celebrating the choreographies of Guruji, Guru Sharmila has created many pieces of pure dance herself, along with various dance productions, the most prominent being Sukshma and Hansika. On behalf of Guru Srimati Sharmila and the Sanjali Center, I take this opportunity to welcome our special invitees for today, Sri Shujan Chatterjee, Guru Praveen Kumar, Guru Srimati Chitra Dasrathi, Mr. Satish Suri, and our Sanjali trustees, Mrs. Sumita Chatterjee and Mrs. Sagarika Mitra. Welcome and thank you for gracing this occasion. And of course, to all the Rasikas here, we welcome you once again to witness the spectacular Odissi Dance Ballet. I introduce the artists for today's evening, Srijita Sanyal, Preeti Banerjee, Suranjana Ando, Anushri Padmanabha, Shweta Sridharan, Anuradha Ghosh, Nandita Bhattacharya, Shitama Mukherjee, Janvi Muduli, Raima Nanda, Shriyanshi Das, Tansin Mohanti, Sharmila Manikanta Das, Priyadarshini, Madhura Veena, Hina Singh, Sayantini Kundu, Gauri Lakshmi Hari, Shurujit Shom, Ravi Shankar Bhitti, Dinesh Duggal, and Tejasvi Lilangdas. And of course, Guru Srimati Sharmila Mukherjee in the role of Srimati. Ladies and gentlemen, the dancers worship. Of Anati, who is fully engrossed in dance. She is equally versed in the arts of Nitya, Geet and Vatya. Her versatility has won her the honor of a Raj Nartaki, the court dancer. Regality adorns her life, yet dance is not just what gives her her public status. It reigns supreme in her private life too. Her artistic self finds expression in her joys and moods, in her creations, in her existence itself. Like that kasturi deer which is enamored by its own perfume, the nati is enchantingly immersed in her own God-sent creativity. The self-immersion of an artist is not the only source of his or her creation, but is also the key to the riches of the spiritual world. Yet, generally, an artist is oblivious of this key to his or her spiritual self. Being so lost in the ecstasy of artistic creations, Sangeet is what the Nati was destined to worship in life. Upali, the Buddhist saint's inspiration with time, however, transforms her dance to a puja offering. Dance becomes her sacred offering to Buddha the emancipated one, one who is pure and the only eternal truth. Nati's Nritya, Gita and Sadhana 
Kolesh to become the sacred lamb guiding her to her Ishta Devta, the divine personality residing within her own self. The entrancing light shows her the path to the Bodhisattva, the fear of death too pales at such wondrous visions, the sight of such spiritual treasure. But the path to this wondrous self-discovery is not easy. From small hurdles, severe obstacles must be overcome on this arduous journey for seeking the divinity within, remaining steadfast to one's destination. One must forge ahead with the Charayavethi mantra echoing constantly in one's heart. Abided by the Charya, the divine practices, for the seeker who has set her mind to attaining the divine truth or Mahavastu, there can be no stopping her from her spiritual journey. No external force can deter her from her goal. This is the story of a journey towards Bodhisattva. The story of the divine passage, the story of conquering death, the story of a Nati, Srimati. Ah. Thank you. 
Could one ever disengage oneself from the political and religious cosmos of the contemporary times? Never. An artist too cannot. Yet, an artist would always long for his inner cosmos, the source of inspiration for creativity. Whatever an artist perceives in the visible world finds creative reflection. For Srimati too, the sensuous world of nature, the flowers, leaves, trees, found meaningful expression in her dance. Thank you. 
This was chiefly because of the Buddhist Bhikshu Upadhi, the perspective one. Very few can plunge into the depths of their own soul to discover the riches that awaits there. Bhikshu Upadhi had come to her to lead her to seek the hidden treasures within. In the name of Lord Buddha, he showed her the way to light one's inner lamp of divinity. Srimati became his instrument to showcase to the world the meaning of complete surrender to the divine. in the political scenario. Ajata Shatru, the son of King Bimbisara, boycotted Buddhism. He ordered the people of his kingdom to discard the Buddhist dharma. But for the followers of Buddhist dharma, that day was a special day for puja. Srimati was busy pouring her heart and soul into preparing her puja offerings for the special occasion. Yet, such intensity, such devotion, such passion for the divine always faced obstacles. This conflict and obstruction in the external world as well as the internal become a stumbling block for a sadhaka in the spiritual journey. 
but the bhakta refuses to be deterred by all impediments, big or small, in the victorious journey to seek the divinity.
before the Buddhist Dupa for the entertainment of the royal family. Srimati accepted the royal order with a smile on her lips. So, in that case, what would happen to her special puja? Would it remain incomplete?
But Srimadis don't ever die. For such sadhana, such self-sacrifice, such surrender is immortalized. There can be no death for such true devotion. So the example of one Srimati inspires a generation of Srimatis to this divine path. The sound of Anarthaki's anklets mingled with the Pujarani's puja mantras. The two cells blended into one. The sound of it resonates across time and space to the realms of immortality. <laughs>